My name is Jackie Gifford Anderson. I'm a counselor at Lincoln High School, and I am nominating Alicia Clausen as staff star. She teaches Algebra 1. Um, she also teaches, I think, a class of geometry, but it's mainly what I see as a counselor. Algebra 1 students sometimes struggle. It's a hard subject matter for some students, but her ability to build that relationship with a student and get them to believe that they can do this is just unbelievable. And even if a student doesn't do it right away, even if they struggle from the get-go, she is always, always there to pick them up, dust them off, and let them know that she's going to get them there. And again, they probably don't believe it. They probably think they've failed math all their life and they can't do it, but she does it. And as a counselor, that is just so reassuring and so helpful to me because math is difficult. You have to get through three or four credits of math, so you need those kids to get through that first year. Her ability to establish relationships with her students, and in turn, they do well in her class. They respond to her way of teaching, she gets students to be successful that they don't even believe they can be successful, but she gets them to a point where it happens, they get the credit, and they're absolutely ecstatic. And I don't really know how she does it, she just has a wonderful way of making things happen for students who struggle in her class. You know, sometimes people struggle trying to build relationships with students. They don't know how to kind of peel away some of those layers to get in to know those students. And Mrs. Clausen just does it what appears to be effortlessly. Um, and she's not doing it to be, you know, cool or anything. It's just who she is. It's who she is down to the core of a human being. And um, I'm just in awe of what she gets out of students. I mean, I know Mrs. Clausen has great content education. I know she knows her subjects up one side and down the other. But it's that ability to relate to them. The kids don't get into whether she's got this degree or that degree or how smart she is in her content area. They just know that when they walk into that room, she cares and they know she cares and so they just respond to her. That's one of the greatest things that I think I can say about a teacher is that you know, it, the kids just want to learn from them because, not because of what they know, but it's because they know they care. Kids will come back in after they've had her for Algebra One, and they'll say, please put me in her class for geometry. Well, she only teaches, I think, one section of geometry, so it's very, very difficult to, to do that. But they know how special that atmosphere is. And again, it's a tribute to her, but they also know that you know, they only have her for that first year, but it definitely puts them on the right path to get where they need to go. And I've often told them, I tell kids numerous times, you can always go back and talk to her. You can always go into her study hall. You can always talk with her before and after school. Um, but again, you don't want to monopolize her time either. But I could send her a hundred students after school and she would sit in that room with a hundred students and she would run around the room like a bunny hopping from here to there and she would do everything in her power to get to every one of those just because that's who she is. She comes here every day, she works hard, she does what she's supposed to do, but she would never ever try to bring attention to herself or toot her own horn or even this. By me nominating her as a staff star, I'm sure in the back of her mind she's like, oh, I don't want the attention, just let me be in my room and do my thing. And she's like an artist. You know, some artists never want anyone to see their portrait or their product that they're painting or drawing or whatever. And when she goes into that room, she's creating a masterpiece. She just doesn't know all the different ways in which it affects the students that she interacts with, but she's creating a, a masterpiece.